We as a university have got a proud heritage in maritime, maritime studies, maritime education. And uh, here we've got the Daniel Adamson boat, a steam tug, dating back uh, to the early 1900s. Uh, we heard that it was going to be restored. We saw great opportunities as a university to contribute, opportunities for our students and our staff to get engaged, and that's why we're here today. And uh, we're delighted that uh, from a lot of effort, from a lot of tremendous enthusiasts, we're just part of this great project. John Moores has become an excellent partner of ours. Uh, Nigel Weatherill, uh, your Vice Chancellor, is one of our trustees. Nigel's been great. Um, and the amount of opportunities they've brought to the table for us have been superb. Really have, from computer games to the 3D scanning of the vessel and everything in between, it's been superb. And I think it's a great opportunity for the students as well, not only to work on it being rebuilt, but to actually study the thing. And something that's 113 years of age and is still operating is on the doorstep. I think it's a magnificent opportunity to volunteer, but to come and study and to look at. Well, we've got uh, some of our engineering students who've been helping to restore the boat. Uh, we've had some of our students with our staff who've uh, been preparing a film of uh, this very special day in the last uh, few weeks. And we've used modern technology, drone technology, to produce a video of that. And we've got some of our computer scientists who are, uh, who've been developing uh, children's games games that uh, here in the Maritime Museum they can come along and uh, they can participate in understanding the heritage of Liverpool and of course the heritage of the Daniel Adamson. So tremendous opportunities for our students and our staff to engage in real world problems.